Hey guys, I'm back. Um, uh, I want to talk about some, uh, just one little, it's going to be a short video because I, I just want to bring this one thing up and then I'm, like I said, I'm going to go out, um, and do some yard work, but, um, why last night did all the cruisers, now, you know who you are, guys, you, you know who you are, um, why, um, why last night did you leave your cars running for four hours while you were locked inside? On the fourth floor, maybe? Well, we know. Anyway, you know why? People say, why do they leave their cars running? Well, last night it was like, what? 61 degrees, 59 degrees, 58 degrees. You know, I'm not uh, um, the uh, weather person. And I'm not going to tell you it's going to snow, and it never does. I'm not going to tell you it's going to rain. And uh, then it never never does. Okay, but that's not my that's not my department there. Anyway, people are my department. People specifically in uh, at Lawrence County, Ohio, and Ironton. Um, anyway, so you know why the police cars let the, you know why they let them run? Why they're they're locked inside there? Well, if they don't let them run, and then they don't have to go get gas, then well, why haven't you got gas? Why didn't you get gas uh, normally like you do? Well, if you leave your car running, and then you run all your gas out. Then when you go to fill your gas up, the city pays for that. Taxpayers pay for their gas. Uh, you know, that shows that you might have been out patrolling. Bullshit. They're sitting down there at the police department on the fourth floor, locked inside with maybe uh, someone, maybe somebody that's close to you. You know, you, you guys think these kids don't brag about where you take them and what you do with them? When you mess with these young girls, they, they're proud of it. These badge bunnies, they're proud of it, buddy. I did such and such with so and so. And you guys don't care as long as you get what you want, do you? Oh, uh, boys. And I mean boys. Uh, <clears throat> and Dan, you know, you've worked, you've had to work your whole life, buddy. And you're going to, you're going to take responsibility uh, for their actions. You know, what, what are you afraid of? You think you can retire soon and you get that pension? You think that everything these guys are doing uh, that's uh, illegal or corrupt? That you're not going to finally be held responsible for it, yeah. You, know? you you were you were nice to me, Dan. You you didn't do anything to me. Uh, you didn't do anything to me. But you got by with shit, you know. Everybody knows what you did, and I, I'm glad that uh, you're happy, and I'm glad you're healthy, and I love uh, uh, how you uh, are all about, all about history and stuff like that. And we got along great. We're, our birthdays are a week apart, but I'm saying, Pam retired, and nothing personal. Pam, she retired. She got her pension, but. There's four lawsuits right now pending, okay, in federal court. You're going to have to use that whole pension to pay for an attorney. Excuse me. <clears throat> anyway, so the police cars sit there and they let the car run because if they run the gas out and they, on a regular basis, go get gas and that lets the public think, wow, they're patrolling the streets. They're not. They're not, honey. They're not. Okay, and uh, also let's uh, let's ask uh, let's go on the on the website and tonight I'll walk you through it. Okay, we'll go on there and we'll just get a chuckle out of what's on there and what's not. Um, on the web now, you know. Uh oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll be talking about a lot of stuff tonight. But the reason they let their cars run is so the gas runs out, and then when they go, if they don't have to get gas for a week, obviously they haven't done, they haven't been anywhere. But if they let their cars run. Yeah, looks like they, they're running out the gas. We are paying for that gas, people. Amanda, um, with all due respect, ma'am, um, you want to make change, and I, I'm sure you do. All you got to do is say one little sentence. I will not tolerate police corruption. I will hold... Bentley! I will not hold... He, he must see a squirrel or something. Uh... All you got to do is say, I won't, uh, I will hold each officer accountable for misconduct. That one sentence. Now, every voter in Ironton, if, if that's, if that's a, your uh, concern of yours and you're too afraid to speak up about it, and if she says that one sentence, because Sam sure as heck don't say anything about police misconduct, does he? Well, I wonder why. Well, you can see why on YouTube, you know? If he doesn't, he's going to let all of his buddies do it, right? Anyway, I'll get back to you here and again now. I, I haven't posted the video I did earlier, but I'm getting ready to post two. And, uh... 
Excuse me. And I'll be back here in a little bit. Bethris. Good. God bless. I'll talk to you in a little. I got so much more fun stuff. And uh, I think I think uh, all of you for call, uh, calling me about the uh, my videos being funny, especially the one with the granny shirt on. Um, okay, somebody's at my door. Let me see who it is. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> 